Good Tuesday evening. We've got a lot of weather to talk about coming up in the next couple of days. We're tracking some scattered showers through the area tonight. We have a wet Wednesday, uh, wet windy Wednesday on tap and heavy mountain snow is saying the least because we've got a lot of mountain snow coming our way and we could even see a wintry mix of snow here in the lower elevations as we get to the weekend. Oddly enough, there's a little bit of a warm front uh, coming through the area today. Temperatures are much warmer than they were yesterday at this time. Let's talk about those winter storm warnings. Let's focus on the blues right here. This is going to kick up tonight. We're talking 8 to 19 inches of snow between now and Thursday in the blues. Uh, tonight we'll see a big storm coming through and winds up to 60 miles an hour, creating blizzard like conditions across the Blue Mountains. That I-84 corridor could be impacted. Now let's get to the Cascades. We're talking two to four feet in those upper elevations. Winds at 40 miles an hour. The east slopes of the Cascades to uh, 12 to 22 inches with winds gusting up to 55 miles an hour. So pretty intense storm coming through the area. Here's what it looks like for tomorrow. Look at all that moisture. Now that's coming up from the South Pacific and a cold front coming down from Alaska, all merging together to create, well, a super winter storm across our Cascade Mountain. So very active weather moving through tomorrow and late tonight. So be prepared for winter driving conditions. You want to be very strategic about any travel plans for the next couple of days. Now, if you remember last night, we were down in the 20s and low 30s through the area. Tonight, we're closer to 40 degrees in the Columbia Basin, a little bit cooler here in the blues, especially in Dayton at 32, 37 in Toppenish. Look at the difference between Toppenish and Yakima, four degrees and a chilly night in Ellensburg. So very, very active weather on the way. Here's your planning forecast. Just to give you an example, this is Walla Walla and Hermiston for the next couple of days. That wintry mix on Saturday and then uh, Tri-Cities is going to be nearly 60 degrees tomorrow, but wet and windy through the area. And then we cool right back down into the 40s. So it's basically a weather roller coaster that we're on. Make sure you tune in tonight at 5, 6 and 11 for all the details.